In this video, we're going to be setting up our forms for the login, register, and reset password pages. So what we'll do is we'll just go out to Bootstrap and copy and paste snippets that they have in there. And then we'll just change the text around a little bit, and that's pretty much it. So pretty much we're just doing HTML work in this video, and that's pre pretty much it. Uh, down in the description, you'll find these links like usual, and that that would be the pages that I'm going to be referencing throughout the video. Uh, let's go out and grab that snippet out of Bootstrap. So if we go to Bootstrap and click on Documentation, and then click on Components, and then click on Forms, and then right here, I was checking this out earlier, this looks great. Uh, we'll just change the text around a little bit, and that's pretty much it. This will work perfect for us, though. So just copy this, and let's go and add this to our project. Start off inside of our login component. So inside the components, inside the login, open up the HTML. And then up here, I'm going to create a couple containers to paste our uh, snippet into. So the first one will be the uh, row container. And this is a bootstrap class, by the way, row. And then inside here, we'll create another container. Uh, another container. This is going to be our column. So column medium six. That should be like the uh, half of the width of the screen. And then also, let's bump it off the side. So offset medium uh, three. And then we'll also give it some margin. So margin top four, that'd be good. And then we'll give it this uh, document a title or a header. So I'll put that inside of an H3. And this is going to be our login page. And then below here, I'll paste it. And then all we need to do is change all our text around. This we'll just change to um, username login or login username. That'd be good. And then change this to username. Copy this and change this one over. And this will be text instead of email. And get rid of this. And get rid of this as well, but we don't need that. Instead of email, it's going to be username username and that's it for our first field let's knock out our second one this is going to be the password that the user is going to need to sign in and we'll change this to login password password copy this change this over and that's pretty much it for our second field uh, the third one here is going to be a link. Now this is where they'll be able to click on this and then go to the forgot password page or reset their password page. Uh, I'll just hit A and then tab. And then instead of using href, we'll use the router link, Angular router link. So A router link. And then we get rid of the second attribute here. And then and then here put forgot password, that'd be good. And that's pretty much it for here. Let's go out and get that address while we're here. I'll copy and paste it so I don't spell wrong. So open this up and the address that we're gonna send the user to is this right here. Copy this and then just paste that in there. Okay, so we set up our forgot password link and then let's knock out the, the button here. So this is gonna be login. And then we'll add an icon. I found these real nice icons for, for these buttons. I, th I think they'll look really good. So if we go back to here and then open up this page here, copy this, this will look great inside that button. Uh, let's go back to our project and paste it in there. And that's pretty much it for our login form. Save this. Now keep in mind, all these snippets will be down in the description. There's gonna be a link called snippets. Just click on that. And then it'll send you to a page and this be already made for you, just the way it is now. And you can just copy and paste it instead of typing all this out. Uh, let's go knock out our register form. So uh, did I copy all this? So copy and let's open up our register component. And then inside here, I'm just going to time lapse it because I'm basically doing the exact same thing, but just change around all the text. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, and that's pretty much it for our register form. 
and I'm going to keep the same icon right here that that'd be perfect. So I'm not going to uh, enter in a second password field right now or create a second password field. Uh, we'll add that later on when we're doing um, form validation. We'll add a second password or confirm password field later on. But for now, that that works. So the user needs a username, email, and password to, to log in or create an account. Later on, we'll set up a couple more fields like a company name, things like that later on. But this will get us started. Let's save this, then control all and and copy this let's knock out our last form if we open up our third component that is our reset password now this one's going to be real simple this is only going to have one field paste this in here and i'm going to time lapse this and i'll be back in one second okay and that's pretty much it for this form and then we'll go out and get the other icon. I found a, nut, a nice icon for this. This is a paper airplane. If we go here and this one right here, and that this looks really good because technically this is sending out an email. So let's copy this and go back here and just replace this. And that's pretty much it for our, our forms. Let's save this and let's run it and make sure everything is working correctly. So i open up the command line and inside the spa ng serve why this is booting up i'll open up the browser here in the browser we're not getting any errors so that's a good sign uh, let's go and click on our register link and here is our new register form and those icons look really good in the inside the button and uh that looks really good so username email and password let's check out our login page and here they can enter in a username and password and if they click on the forgot password, they end up on the reset password page. And here is where they um, enter in their email. So uh, actually, I, I want to change this to account email, actually. So let's go back and change that real quick. So we go to our reset password page. And this would be account email. Let's save this. And then if we go back here. And account email. Okay. So enter an email, reset password. That looks really good. So now in the next video, we're going to actually start hooking these up to our in our components. So I'll see you then.